kind of bummed we didn't document the whole entire thing because it came out pretty greasy. Talking about the O1, I know you guys heard me talking about it in other videos. And um, it's a customer's bike. It's not one of my own projects, but he gave me full reign to do whatever I wanted. He said, just make it great again. Make this Japanese dirt bike great again. So I put the Donald Trump on it. Made that thing great again. It is amazing. And um, I'll kind of flip the camera around. Again, I'm so sorry. I'll put up a picture now. I'll show you what it looked like before. As you can see, it was pretty banged up. Um, the owner, I wouldn't say he neglects it. He just, how it looks visually isn't his priority. But he spent a lot of money on his kids always riding, so he wanted a nice bike for him for once. So he dropped like four Gs on this thing, maybe even more, to get it where it's at. So I'm going to spin the camera around. We'll walk over a couple of things. But this is a 2001 YZ250. with the pre-manufactured set of warp nine wheels and uh, got the tires from uh, rockymountainmc.com these are the dural ho shots really really good deal on tires if you guys are uh, in a pinch for money the dura ho shots i think uh, they're about sixty dollars a tire uh, we had nick foster at nifo powder coating do it this really unique gray color i don't know if it's really showing up but the gray is just something no one's done before i always see silver i see black i see blue i see white but we wanted to try something else so it's kind of like um huh gun metal? yeah i wouldn't even call it gunmetal it's 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 got a little flake to it but it's uh i i hit up rocky mountain uh, their attack graphics department I sent them a picture of the frame and they blended it to the graphic and they did a fantastic job because back here in the fender it comes back to like a dark point and then it slowly gets lighter 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 and uh, I think they did a fantastic job matching it the bike looks amazing uh, but anyways after the wheels put a brand new pivot works swing arm bearing kit in it we had Nick Foster at Nifo powder coating, uh, repowder coat the shock spring. Um, the Gold Series FMF is brand new. It's a fatty. Um, we put in the V Force. I think it's V Force three or four. The V Force three reed cage. Um, aluminum eBay radiators. Go ahead and talk shit all you want about those. They're cheap and they work good until you fall on them. Literally just put the pipe on, fired it up. Runs fantastic. The whole bike came out really good. And then a set of Mika Metal. These are the MC bars. RC bars. Ricky Carmichael bend. And um, this is just the bar pad I selected for it to go with it. thing looks pretty badass. Um, but the motor got full bottom to top rebuild. Even with a brand new cylinder from Millennium Technologies. And then I just redid the suspension in the rear. I didn't do anything to the front. The front's original, but I'm having a feeling we're going to have to do something about that soon. 
And um, other than that, this thing is minty and it runs as good as it looks. It really does. It runs super crisp and poppy and it runs fantastic. So, so anyway. Ray just had the brilliant idea. He's always my ace in the hole. He had the brilliant idea. We're going to do a reaction video of me freaking out because the air compressor <laughs> kicking on. Uh, anyway, as soon as the air compressor turns off, anyway, we're doing a reaction video. We'll go drop this off to Robert right now. I know he's changing a radiator in his truck. He has no idea. He knows what it looks like because he wrote it like two weekends ago. Um, yeah, he, he hasn't seen the new graphics or the pipe. He hasn't seen a couple things on it. So we'll go run it over to him and, and get his reaction. But, uh, oh, yeah. All right, we got the squad loaded up. What's that? We're on our way. Yay. Yay. Banner. Really, Isaac? Let's show YouTube what your obsession is. Moto. Moto? Really? What did you just hold up and say? He said banner. He said spinner. Yeah. Oh, spinners. Oh, spinners. Click like if you hate spinners. <laughs> just get like a million likes from just that. Anyway, we're... See, see the dirt bike following us? Oh, on our way to deliver it, but what's funny about this guy that we're taking it to is he's like 24-7 sedated. Hopefully he doesn't watch this video. <laughs> Even if he does watch this video, I think he's gonna look at it and say... He's right. Yep. Unsedated 24-7. Now, self-induces snooze. Whatever you guys do at home to entertain or not entertain and just to couch lock, that's up to you. More power to you. But this guy is like he's been shot with like animal tranquilizers and that's just him. But he's super chill about everything. He's a super good guy. I think he's in his 60s. So... He's kind of an older moto guy, but it's crazy because I was telling him like everything I wanted to do the bike and he was just down with it. I'm like, I want to do all this crazy graphics and like the black and blue wheels and gold chain. And he's just like, that sounds good. That sounds good. Kind of like a Matthew McConaughey, huh? Yeah. You okay. should have turned there. You 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 should have You should have, but you failed. But yeah, he's a little bit... If you guys didn't notice something, Ray's kind of missing something. <laughs> he, he had to, he had to, he had to de, man. de man his face for his new job painting airplanes. And not, I don't mean like actually painting airplanes, I mean like he paints airplanes on a piece of paper. No, I paint airplanes, <laughs> but it just demoralized me. As <laughs> no, he's like for real, like working at a body shop for airplanes, if you will, where they... Definitely makes me sad, because I don't know if I should have took the job. It's because I miss my beard. The beard was like, when they told him, because of the respirator he has to wear, he was like, is this job worth it? <laughs> is this Do job I worth the new... The, is this the job worth the neutering of the beard? <sighs> that was the most depressing part about that. But... Can I turn here? Yeah. Hey, you can't be called Elsa anymore. You're not Harry. Uh, he can, he's still Harry. Yeah, what the hell? Ah, he yeah, still I'm, has little bits. What the hell is that? I don't know. Draw what? brackets. What's that oh, mean? there goes the bike on its side. Oh, it's what? stolen. We, we, oh my god, that sun. We sun made it up in our minds on the drive here that if the bike fell off the trailer, we're going to say it got stolen. Because uh, we don't... <laughs> We don't want to be responsible for tying down a bike <laughs> that he just spent, like, seriously, enough to go buy a brand new four-stroke, including the purchase price of the bike, plus what he put into it, you could have bought a brand new whatever. But instead, he had old London MX break it down for him on how a bike should be rebuilt. And I think he should be stoked, but he's not going to be, like, the kind of guy that he's, like, jumping all over the place going, yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually might cry. Think he'll cry? Really? No, I don't think so. Okay, I was gonna say I don't think he has that kind of emotion. I don't think he has that capability 
of having that kind of emotion. God, I hope he doesn't see this video. Robert, if you see this video, you're a good dude, man. And you know we love you to death. But, uh... I love you! I'm not gay, I promise. Not that there's anything wrong with gay people at all. Okay. It's 2017, you can be as, as you please. Yes. You car carry on with your life. We love however, America. Like however carrots you carrots. America. Even if they're flesh carrots. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be a snicker licker? Be a snicker licker. Oh, God. Oh, Oh, we took the long way. What the? You need to tell me how to get You're there. going the right way now, but as soon as you get down the end of the street, oh, turn yeah. right. I'm not going to say street names, because you do not need to know the street names. So we're going to hit, uh, what's this street over here? All right, that's uh, Clay Bar. Clay Bar, like Mother's Clay Bar. Yes. There's a horse trailer, in case you're wondering. But pretty soon here, I'm going to flip the camera around. Because supposedly he's out front, he's out front working on his truck, putting a new radiator in it. That's why he couldn't come pick up the bike. So we're like, well, shoot, let's go load it up. We'll take it over there and surprise him. So we'll get a reaction video. But my my prediction is his reaction is just smiles and a lot of mumbling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god! I, I think he's. <laughs> All right. See that scoot, though? I know. Is this a Subaru? Okay, we're gonna, he's gonna be outside working on his truck. There's the truck. Go really slow. He's not outside though. He's not outside. I don't have a horn. You don't have a horn? No. Scream Robert. You know what we should do? Is go start the bike and just rev the shit out of it until it blows up. And then he can do this all over again. Then he can rebuild it all over again. He is not here. Oh, shit. No, just leave it right here. Leave it right here. Park right here. Just go knock on the door and run, and then we'll have him walk outside and we'll see. It's already starting. Go. Gosh, ah, kids these days. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Yep. Ding dong ditch. Buck clown. Look at this beauty. It's 2001's of series. Oh shit. <laughs> Gotta do the reaction video. Man. Delivered and all. Signed, sealed, delivered. She's yours. Awesome. Huh? Yeah. Stoked? Yeah. Make your day with your your yeah. busted radiator of hell. Yeah. Like literally. Uh, check it out. I will. I will. I we'll go. We'll, we'll go check it out. That, is, uh, that looks so good. Awesome. Pretty pretty. Check out this new. I know. Where's David? You thought we were coming. Oh, can I say hi to David? Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Oh. On the money. Oh. Hey, what's up, sickly? Mm -hmm. You gotta buy a mount. A different hook, huh? Yep, it is. It is. I think it's because the pipes like ninety nine to oh or whatever brand new. They're all the same. So yeah, we gotta get a different pipe mount than the one that was on it. Yes, you guys can come out. That's fine. That looks, that looks so bad. Isn't that? <laughs> we might have driven over here like that, but. Got a little compression, Robert. Mm -hmm. Hey, Glenn! Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Come on, you have on the army boots and everything. I know. No, you have sandals on, Ivan. More than two kicks, you're playing with it. Absolutely loved his bike. I kind of thought 
he was going to respond how he did respond, which was kind of lackluster, but whatever. <laughs> you know, like I said, that's him. That's his personality. But he is stoked. Um, he already went and tried it um, since I uh, filmed all that and broke it in nicely. And he, he is so stoked on it. And I guess everyone at the track too were just coming up to him like, "Oh my God, what year is that? You know, that thing's amazing." So he's way stoked. Uh, a lot more to come. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you keep watching because <laughs> I don't even know if I want to show you guys. I'm going to, I am. I don't want to. I'm going to. <laughs> Look at that Kickstarter. Got some tubing, bent it up, welded it <laughs> I wanted to hear the damn thing run. So I did that and. Foul the plug. <laughs> so, oh my god. Uh, anyway, but she does run, and I'm going to have to get into it. And I don't know. It's still kind of undecided. A lot of people have said, just do a build video on it. And God, I have so many other bikes that I could do build videos on, like truly, guys. And I just, I feel like that thing, I should probably just pull the motor and uh, put it inside of a 500 uh, outlaw card or something like that. Um, that's where that motor would be a lot better appreciated than that old frame. But there is a possibility. There is a slight possibility that I can get a hold of a 19, I think he said 96, rolling chassis. And everything is there. But they pulled the motor for uh, another project. So to pull this motor, put it in that might make sense so might do something like that also <sighs> look at that's an 85 xr 100 i'm wanting to pull the motor out of that and over here in this mess i have a 2012 kx 85 that's just <laughs> you can't even tell but there's a 2002 or 2012 kx 85 down in there and it's upside down so i don't get any water inside the bottom end but uh basically it was a parts bike that was picked apart they took everything valuable you know and it's a rolling chassis i don't even have all the plastics for it. i have some of the plastics but anyways i was thinking about taking that 100 out of that uh, xr and put it in there Wouldn't that be kind of cool i think that'd be awesome so other than that i am gonna cut it for today but thank you guys all for subscribing thank you all for watching thank you a lot of you guys have stopped me at the track and said hello and introduced yourself and told me that you seen all the videos and i appreciate that uh from the bottom of my heart i really do guys like i appreciate you guys watching i'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos stay tuned if you haven't subscribed please do um i'm always building wacky things and having fun with dirt bikes and stuff like that uh, and I got a lot of a lot of other things still to come. I have a 2001 CR250 that I'm gonna buy. That that's gonna be a project bike. And I'm thinking about doing another 125 because that RM125 was such a blast. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go over and check that one out. Um, but other than that, from London MX live from the Central Coast. I love you guys. You have a good day, a good night, wherever you're at, and uh, we'll see you soon.